Hi there, Mark DeGroote here, Royal Page Burl Oak here, and uh, the latest market stats are in for April of 2021. I thought I'd go through them again uh, as a high-level overview of the major stat numbers. As always, these are just high-level numbers. If you have more specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always happy to answer any questions when it comes to stats. So let's dive right in. So the uh, market stats for Toronto from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. Uh, overall, uh, in April of 2021, the average home price was $1,088,021. That's an increase of 23.9% uh, year over year. Uh, for a detached, if breaking that down a bit, an average detached house is $1,699,756. That's up 36.8% year over year. Uh, Semi-detached or townhome type property in Toronto, $1,308,799. That's up 19.6%. And the average condo price is up 18.7% to $727,137. So we're starting to see a, a rebound in that market. As you know, that market, the Toronto condo market, would have taken quite a hit. It's coming back. We're starting to see more activity going on in the Toronto condo market. Uh, moving down the QW to Burlington, overall the average price in Burlington was $1,058,992. That's up 31.1% over April of last year. Uh, detached home in Burlington will set you back $1,362,999. That's up 36.2% on average. Uh, attached townhome type property or semi, average price $820,036. That's up 23.3%. And a, a condo apartment type property in Burlington is now uh, average price $602,506. That's up 25.7%. Uh, in Burlington, days on market right now is 12.3 on average. Uh, that's up 42% uh, over uh, last year's 21.3 days on market. So we're still in a seller's market. However, we are starting to see things uh, cool off a little bit. And I'll get into that in just a sec. In Hamilton, overall, the average price was $786,737. That's up 41.6% over last year. A detached home in Hamilton, on average, will cost you $857,201. That's up 42.8%. And a attached townhome type property in Hamilton is now $679,626. That's up 21, excuse me, 28.1%. In Hamilton, we saw this year in April, uh, 1,729 new listings versus 566 new listings. That's up 205% uh, new listings coming out. So we're starting to see more activity. As you know, the um, pandemic really made people hesitant to sell, but that only lasted so long. Now the high prices are really motivating people to put their properties on, and we're starting to see a lot more houses listed. Um, and the activity is uh, slowing down slightly. So I'll talk to you a bit about that. Um, in Burlington, for example, we had um, in April 1,438 showings. This is through Broker Bay, which is one of the online booking systems we use. That's down 24% over last month. So less uh, showings have been booked. And on offers, we had 106 offers registered through a Broker Bay system which is down 73%. So a lot less offers going on as well. Now, of course, that also means, you know, many offers were because there were multiple offer situations. So on a property, you'd have maybe 10 offers going in. Now we're not seeing that many offers. There's still a seller's market, we're still seeing multiple offers on, on very attractive properties, but they're not getting the dozens of offers that were happening before. We're getting a little less offers. So that's um, good news, I guess, for, um, for buyers in that regard and maybe not so great for sellers because the prices aren't getting super exaggerated. I can tell you anecdotally, I've seen some properties that haven't sold quite as high as I believe the agent or the seller would have liked them to sell. So we're starting to see a little change in what's been going on in the market and it's inevitable. It couldn't keep going on this way for so long. Um, and finally, just going down the QEW to Niagara, I'll give you the average price is now $643,200 in Niagara area. That's up 40.9%, still huge increases down Niagara. As the dollars are coming and people are looking for value, you can still get value out towards the Niagara area as being close to the city is less important as it was now that many people are telecommuting. So 
that's just a quick high level overview of the numbers. Um, as always, if you have specific questions, you want to know a little bit more about your property or just to talk about stats, because I love talking about stats, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to answer any questions. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.